Okay, so we want to prove that if A and B are independent events, then A complement and B complement are independent events as well. So remember, this is what we want to show. We want to show that the probability of A complement intersection B complement, right, is equal to the probability of A complement times the probability of B complement, right? That's what it means for two events to be independent when their intersection is equal to with the probability of their intersection is equal to the probability of the that set times the probability of the other set, right? So this is what we want to show. So let's go ahead and start the proof. So we have if A and B are independent events, so we're going to assume A and B are independent events. Okay, so this implies that the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B, right? That's what it means for two events to be independent. So now, remember, I want to show that the probability of A complement intersection B complement is equal to the probability of A complement times the probability of B complement. So let me go ahead and start with that, right? So I'll start with probability of A complement intersection B complement. I know I can rewrite this as the probability of A union B complement. And this could be, this is the same as one minus the probability of A union B. Okay. And then I can rewrite A union B as the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B right now let me go ahead and distribute that negative so that'll be one minus the probability of a minus the probability of b plus the probability of a intersection b from my assumption i know the probability of a intersection b is equal to the probability of a times the probability of b so i know that this is one minus the probability of a minus the probability of b um, plus the probability of A times the probability of B. Now, you might get stuck at this part. So I know where I want to go, so maybe give myself some space. I want that the probability of A complement um, times the probability of B complement, right? I want that the probability of A complement intersection B complement is equal to the probability of A complement times the probability of B complement. Well, um, I know that the probability of A complement is 1 minus the probability of A. And I know the probability of B complement is 1 minus the probability of B. Well, look at that. We know that 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative probability of B is negative probability of B. Negative probability of A times 1 is negative probability of A. Negative probability of A times negative probability of B is positive probability of A times probability of B. So that means this is equal to this, and I know this is equal to this. So we set out to what we wanted to prove. This implies that the probability of A complement intersection B complement is in fact equal to the probability of A complement times the probability of B complement. And that is our proof.